Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday and welcome to Voice Day. Um, I'm super excited to be hosting today. If you don't know, my name is Laura. I'm your academic exec. My pronouns are she, her, and I'm here today to make some pancakes with you. Um, so I'm following a recipe from the BBC. Um, bear with me, I do have the recipe up. I'm not quite Mary Berry yet, even though I did enjoy watching Bake Off last night. Let me know in the comments if you've been watching Bake Off, what are you thinking? Who's your person to win? I really like Rowan, um, but I think you need some work here. Yeah. So I'm going to start. So we're going to start with some flour. Put it in my magic basket. Um, we're going to need, let me just check, we need four and a half ounces if you work with ounces or 135 grams. Let me know if you're baking along with me and we can bake together. Um, so bear with me whilst I just twist this so I can see it. I work in ounces because that is what my mum always taught me to do. So um, I'm just going to add that in. Four and a half. A little bit more. There we are. Oh, so I'm going to add that to my mixing bowl and alongside that I also need my baking powder where I do need one teaspoon. Acrylic nails can't always get it. Um, but yeah, that was a lot. I'm sure it'd be fine. <laughs> and then we're also going to need some caster sugar. So caster sugar is here and I'm just using silver spoon and other brands are available <laughs> so for that you're going to need two tablespoons so I'll get my tablespoon and add that into my mixing bowl so obviously today is voice day um so student voice I think is the most important thing um that you can get involved with at university when I was course rep um I was course rep um, I was involved in student voice meetings and making changes onto my course. Um, nominations for course reps are open today, so if you do have any questions, and I'm going to have some later on in the session, um, let me know, post them in the comments. Um, I loved it, and especially like, I loved talking to the course reps and getting involved with them last year. Um, we had loads of socials throughout the year, and I loved it. We do have today in the campus centre, if you wanted to pop down, we do have a giveaway of some lovely seeds, and it does look very, very pretty. So um, pop down, see what you think. We've got the lovely Mohammed and Katie down there. So if you're watching Mohammed and Katie, hello. <laughs> so after we've done that, um, we want to put these into our mixing bowl, which I've done. In a separate bowl, we need to be putting our, oh, I'm going to do this in a jug. We want to be putting our milk. So I've just used um, semi-skimmed milk. You can use plant-based milk if you want to. Um, it doesn't really matter too much. I'm sure it'd be lovely. I can imagine it'd be really nice with coconut milk, actually. Um, so in this, you want to be putting 130 millilitres or four and a half fluid ounces of milk. I feel almost like when I was a kid, I used to really enjoy pretending that I was on a cooking show. And now I feel like I'm living that dream. I'm like on Saturday night, no, Saturday morning kitchen. <laughs> So I'm going to work in fluid ounces, um, so it's four and a half, um, when I have made these before though, these do come up very, very thick, um, so if you didn't want yours as thick, I'd recommend adding a little bit more. So I will just pop this in, this only goes to eight fluid ounces, so I'm just going to sort of guesstimate. Also, if you didn't know, I mean this one's slightly different, um, but if you're just making normal pancakes, then it is the same recipe as Yorkshire pudding. So if you wanted student hack, you can make some pancakes for breakfast and leave some batter for your tea. Make some Yorkshire puddings with them as well. I'm from Yorkshire, so um, I fully encourage you to make some Yorkshire puddings to your heart's content. Don't buy frozen ones. Um, I like this comment, James Martin, eat your heart out. Love that. <laughs> Hello, Matt. <laughs> so um, now I'll put the milk mixture in. Um, I want to, I need to put, earlier I did melt some butter. I don't know if you can see that. Um, some lovely melted butter. You need to be adding that in as well. So I will just plonk that in. And then the bit that I don't like, um, this is the bit where I show that I'm not a James Martin. <laughs> I crack an egg. I wish I could be one of those people who just sort of like did a, but um, it was there, but I'm not. So um, watch me struggle. I don't think I've got like an actual like serving knife as well. So what I'm going to try to do is use a sharp knife instead. So I hope this goes well. 
Isn't that true? Yeah. That was satisfying. <laughs> So now that I've done that, I'm just going to place that to the side. Usually, obviously, I would just put it straight in the bin, but um, because we're filming this. From Campus Centre today, I don't have a bin right next to me. So I'm going to give this a bit of a whisk. Whisk that all together for a little while. You have to put butter in absolutely everything to be James Martin. Yeah, you do. Um, good job I've got melted butter. <laughs> I'm going to try not and do what um, someone did in Bake Off last week when they just sort of spilt everything on the floor. I'm going to try and do that. And um, But I am going to do a moment yesterday, later, of um, this is what we made earlier. I'm going to give this a whiff by itself. And then add this onto my mixing bowl. Mm. I'm sure there's some sort of scientific reason why you've got to sort of like add, not whisk them separately and then whisk them together. Um, but I'm not a scientist. So if you do know, um, let me know in the comments. I'd love to actually know the reasons. Now, this is already starting to get very, very thick. So um, it's a little bit of an arm workout as well. If you don't fancy going to the gym, make some pancakes instead. Yeah, so I'm actually here today to talk to you about course reps, how you can get involved. Um, if you've got any questions, leave me a comment if you want to know what course reps are, if you want to know um, how to get involved, um, ask me a question. I would love to chat to you. I know we do have some questions that we've already got prepared for later on. Um, but yeah, so this is already starting to look pretty thick pretty almost there there's just some sort of lumps to get involved with i'm going to also be decorating these in a little bit with nutella and um, maple syrup and banana some people don't really like nutella and maple syrup but um i love all the toppings i love all the sugar you can have it with savory pancakes as well you can have like bacon and i don't really know um what are your top top toppings top is a good that's a good sentence I'm glad today because you don't actually have to see me flip it because I do have some food prepared. Um, just because I was a little bit nervous so that was going to turn into an absolute nightmare with like pancakes on the carpet, but that would have been quite funny. <laughs> so this looks almost finished. I am actually going to repurpose this jug. It has only had sort of like the milk in, so um, so it's fine to repurpose just because that does make it easier to pour into your pan. So whilst we are waiting, we're going to have a little bit of a break whilst we talk, we get some questions about course reps. So lovely tech Alice, if you're able to bring me up some questions, I would much appreciate it. They are in just the banners. We'll carry on whisking whilst we're waiting. Um, I think the more we whisk, the more we whisk it, the better. Cool. So, first question: How do I nominate myself to be a course rep? So, you can nominate yourself to be a course rep on the DSU website. You need to go to Academic Representation, um, and you can find out there. There's loads of information. We've got a guide there for you to find out and get involved. Oh, I've just seen Amy sugar lemon juice as well as chocolate spread is good. Oh, that is controversial. I think. Sugar, lemon juice, as well as chocolate spread. I rate that though. Yes, yeah, so course rep, course rep nominations are open and they will be open for the next couple of weeks. Um, I think it's one of the best things you could do. All you need to do is put your name in, put a little manifesto where you can talk about why you'd be a good course rep and um, yeah, nom and nominate yourself. It's pretty easy and um, you can do it in two minutes. So I'd really guarantee you do it. So, um, if we could have our next, oh, are we adding any vanilla, maybe some cinnamon? I'm not adding any of those, but um, feel free. I'm sure a little drop of vanilla essence or maybe like a spoonful of cinnamon would be absolutely incredible in these. I've never tried cinnamon pancakes, so thank you for that comment. I'm going to have to do that next time I make them. I really like making pancakes because, I will come to that question. <laughs> I really like pancake making pancakes because 
you can make them the night before and leave them in the fridge for the next morning um, and they're still as good. Just make sure you give it a whisk and make sure like it is properly refrigerated before you do do it. How will my student voice meetings happen this year? Um, so student voice meetings are, will be happening virtually um, over Teams or perhaps on Blackboard Collaborate, much like a lot of your lectures. Um, I know it's inductions has began, so you might have experienced some of that. So um, yeah, if, if that's if that's going well, let me know. Um, you can contact me if you've got any questions or concerns about that. I'm more than happy to help. Oh, Dia's here. Hey, Dia. <laughs> yeah, that is my handle on Instagram and on Twitter as well. Um, so if you need to get in touch, let me know. You can also find my contact details on the DSU website. Um, for the rest of the day, we do also have a lot of events coming up. We have um, a live debate this afternoon, which is also going to be dessert related. I feel puddings are very like student voice, which I really rate because I prefer dessert over anything else. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to be debating what's better, ice cream or cake. I think ice cream is the best, but um, feel free to feel free to disagree with me. <laughs> We're going to be debating that out and um, they might get an extra treat as well. We've also got our live escape room tonight, which I'm so excited about. That I'll give you a little sneak peek. Um, the evil Dr. X has taken over the DSU. So you've got to help save us and we're going to be utilising things like Google Maps and Google Search, as well as sort of like finding your digital stalking skills. So um, I'm really excited that I'll be hosting that as well. Question: um, What did course reps do last year to make a difference? Hello, Joe. Um, so, the course reps last year they did do an absolute world of good. Um, we had people who were in art design courses who um, made a change in making the lifts more accessible because there were some disabled students who couldn't actually utilize the lifts to the best of their abilities. Um, so, I was so proud of that. We've also had course reps who have been amending deadlines and um, making changes within their courses, making them more diverse. Um, they did amazing. <laughs> so that was just last year. And obviously there's so many things that happened like over the past few years. And um, the year before that, when I was still course rep, um, people made changes to the graduation bursaries. Um, they did all sorts. So basically, if you want to make a change, you can do it. <laughs> um, so yeah, nominate yourself, Joe, if you're, if you're keen. Let's look at your other comments. Team cake, dear. Ice cream with cake. Controversial. But what's better, though, the ice cream or the cake? I think it's the ice cream. Especially if it's something like Ben & Jerry's. Ben & Jerry's fish food for the win. So I'm just going to carry on um, stirring this. Usually I would, obviously, be putting this into heat, but because I told you before, I didn't want to flip the cakes, <laughs> flip the pancakes. Um, we have got some pre-made, what I made earlier. But I'll carry on with the questions for a little while. We'll do one more question and then I'll show you the I'll show you the pancakes. So what is the point in course reps? Interesting question. Um, but what isn't the point in course reps? Course reps are the way that students can get involved throughout their university experience. If you want to make a change, if you want to make your university course suit you, better you, then be a course rep. Um, at the end of the day, we all do pay quite a lot of money to come to university, so why not make it the best that you possibly can for yourself? Um, you can amend deadlines, as I said, you can make the, your university experience better and get involved in a way that um, is quite unique. It's also a really great way to better your employability because you learn skills like leadership. I know I'll, I'll be touching on that in a little while. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think course reps are the best people ever and I'm not biased at all. <laughs> so I shall just put these to the side and um, in true Saturday morning kitchen style, Ta-da! Some lovely pancakes. So these are American pancakes, I should have said earlier. Um, but as you can see, they're sort of quite thick and you get a lovely stack as well. So it's really nice if you want to make them for your housemates um, because you can all sort of like share and be together. And they're quite fast to make as well. So it's not like with the larger pancakes where you've got to make one and then it'll cool down and then you've got to make the other and it's not sort of like social experience. I find these smaller ones because you can make two or three in the same pan, it's a lot faster to make. I will look at your comments. Can I make 10 pancakes and my topping be ice cream and a slice of cake? I mean, that is the best, and um, yes. 
<laughs> of course you can. You do you, whatever floats your boat. Um, so someone said earlier about lemons and sugar. Um, my favourite comment, my favourite topping is not lemons and sugar. Mine is bananas and strawberries. I'll move the eggs out of the way. And Nutella and maple syrup. So I should be adding these on. Um, I'm going to start, I think, with the Nutella. I'm going to try and make this look really Instagramable, especially for our lovely comms team who are watching me. Um, I'm, I'm going to try my best. <laughs> but these look absolutely incredible. So I'm just going to dollop that on. Um, I'm going to use a teaspoon. And sort of like try and make it nice and smooth but i think this is already sort of failing i used to work in a cake shop where we had to decorate pancakes and i used to be quite good at it then but it has been a while or well, someone's just put um i'll join you who can eat the most though i mean that is a competition that we could have at some point i think i might be sick though <laughs> So I'm just going to dust these on. I want to sort of make it so they like slow down, but um, I'm already making the plate really messy. I'm usually the messiest cook in the world. Um, when I was at home, when I was still um, with my parents, they used to absolutely hate because I love cooking, but um, I just make so much mess. My worst thing was um, my housemate and I, when I was in second year, we tried to make gravy but we wanted really, really thick gravy and wanted like vegetables in it. Um, so we thought a really great idea it was going to be to put it in the blender, to like blend it all up. Um, obviously forgetting that it is a very hot substance. So we put it in our Nutribullet and it exploded and it went everywhere, all over the walls. <laughs> and um, that was horrible. <laughs> so next I'm just going to add some strawberries and bananas, make it a little bit healthy to balance out the Nutella. Um, I've also got a chopping board underneath here, so I'm going to chop them on there. Um, but let me know if you're making pancakes alongside me, um, and tag us if you do if you do make them. Um, I want to see yours, and maybe yours will look better than mine, and the comms team um, would love sharing yours, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm just looking at comms Sophie in the background, and she's nodding at me, so... Um, I think she wants you to. Um, I'm just going to add these quite decoratively. I'm really looking forward to eating these. That is the best thing about this job. Well, no, it's not. Sweet so students is the best bit, but um, pancakes is a close second. <laughs> so I went to America a few years ago and took part in some of the food challenges at Brutal. Um, I mean, I'd love to do that with some pancakes. Maybe for pancake day. Pancake day is my favorite time of the year. Um, but I always don't find that I utilise it enough because I want to be solidly eating pancakes for the full day, um, but maybe I'll just have like a couple, but I could have like a couple like every day. So I'm just going to dot these in a little circle, make it try and look pretty. I'm going to chop a few more up just to make it a, li a little bit even. I'm going to use some of the smaller strawberries. Um this one's a really cute diddy one. I will um, also clean the plate up to make it look a bit neater because you can't really see it. Let me move these out of the way. Um, you can't really see it, but um, my plate is looking a tiny bit messy along this edge. But if I keep it this way, no one will notice. <laughs> so bananas. I probably won't use a full banana for this, um, but I can eat it later. Also, mind that you're decorating like the whole thing, not just the top one, because I've just noticed that that is what I'm doing. Um, because you don't want just one to be decorated and lovely, you want them all to be decorated and lovely. I'm just going to chop this. If I don't place them, I can eat them all later. My favourite flavour ever is banoffee. Um, so I kind of wish that I'd brought some caramel as well. Um, but I never tried banoffee pancakes, so I'm sure they're lovely. There's so many amazing places in Leicester you can get pancakes as well. So um, if you like pancakes, you're in the right place. 
and dear our equality and diversity exec and i went to a place called kai last year to have pancakes and that was absolutely incredible so that is so that's my strawberries and banana um looks very very lovely and um, i'm very excited to eat it although as i was doing that i just realized i just knocked a banana off <laughs> So I'm going to open our maple syrup. I love maple syrup, um, but I'm just going to try and open it as well. Uh, I'm going to try not to drown it and stuff. I probably shouldn't open maple syrup like that either. Um, not, try not to drown it, even though I love the taste, but it just doesn't look the absolute best. Okay, I am drowning it. <laughs> so yeah, that is our finished pancakes. So um, if you just ignore the sort of soak up that side and um, it looks very lovely so whilst before we eat that I'm going to answer a few more of your questions about course reps and um, see what you want to know um Alice if we could have another question do I get to interact with other course reps yes you do we're going to be running socials throughout the year and um, obviously these may have to be virtual ones um, but things like our online on online escape room this evening will give you a little bit of an insight of what the things we like to do. Last year, we also ran wellbeing sessions throughout the year. So we had um, little wellbeing crafts and stuff. We had slime as like a mindfulness thing um, because obviously you can just take your mind off it whilst you are sort of playing with it and making it. Um, so yeah, you will get to interact with the course reps because I think that's the best way we can all make a change is if we work together. Um, I know when I was a course rep, I worked very closely with our course reps in other year groups. And yes, you did facilitate us in um, making those connections and making those friendships. Um, so I'd, and obviously like if we're all working together, we can make changes not just on our course, but um, in a wider place to the university and other places as well. Um, can we have another question? What will I need to do as a course rep? You will need to talk to the people on your course um, gather their feedback and um, see what you can do to make a change. Um, so often when you do gather that feedback from them, you go to your programme leader to discuss that. Um, if you do need any support with that, your um, SU, me, myself and um, our voice team are more than happy to support you on that. And you will get full training as well. Um, so it's nothing to worry about. It's not sort of like a very, very difficult job. Um, but it's the most important job that you can do. I'm just going to move these to the side just so it looks like a little bit better. But I'm sure, um, I hope you're enjoying our basket and like our plants today. I do have a basil plant over here. I really like gathering these plants. I always try to make them last forever but and buy them from like the supermarket, but I can never make them last. I'm a plant person. <laughs> um, so what do I put in my course rep manifesto? So putting your course rep manifesto, why you'd be a good course rep, why your other students should trust you and um, what you want to get from that role. Um, essentially, your manifesto, other students shall look at that and decide from that who they want to represent them. So um, if you've, you don't have to have any experience at all, but if you have had experience, pop that in. If you consider yourself a warm and welcoming person, put that in. If you think you're approachable, um, just put things in that... Um, would make you want to vote for you. But I'm sure you'll all do brilliant jobs anyway. And as I say, we're all here to support you and develop some of those skills if you feel like you do need some help in doing so. What, what are the election deadlines? So we do have, it's running for a couple of weeks now. Um, and so you do have time, you don't have to nominate yourself immediately. You can find this information on our website as well. Um, but don't worry too much about it. We're all here to support you and um, help you learn. After that, you will have a few days if you haven't put your manifesto in and then um, nominations shall be open. So um, they're not, there's nothing to worry about. It's not like a like coursework where you've got to get in tomorrow. <laughs> I'm really enjoying the conversation in the chat about this, um, about the different challenges. I'll do a challenge one. A challenge day once my loan comes in on Monday. I think that's dangerous. <laughs> I'd so do that, but um, I'm not very good at them. Yeah, don't forget to send us your pictures. Let us know how you've gotten on. Um, yours may look more Instagram worthy than mine. <laughs> 
So our next question is, what three skills did I gain from being a course rep? Now, it's really difficult to narrow these down to three because I think it's such an individual journey and it's so like individual to you. Um, but I can talk to you about the skills that I learned as a course rep. Number one, confidence. I don't think if you'd have asked me, say like three years ago when I was in like my second year, uh, as when, before I was a proper course rep, before I'd been elected, um, if I could stand in front of you today and make pancakes with you, I think the answer would have been no. Um, but I think as a course rep, your skills do learn. You learn how to speak to people, especially people in a more senior place than you. Um, so I got really used to speaking to the people in my faculty. I was in ADH. I did Arts Investors Management and Drama. <laughs> so you got really used to sort of speaking to your associate dean's academic, your associate professors for student experience. Um, and you do really get used to the fact that it is a level playing field and there's so many people who want to help you. Um, a second skill, leadership. Um, because obviously you've got to find creative, innovative ways of talking to people in your courses. So I really utilised our course rep group chats and um, also just sort of like catching them outside a lecture. Obviously this year that could be a little bit more difficult, um, but I'm sure you're going to come up with lovely ways of doing so and we can support you in finding those. Um, leadership and also that you're leading these campaigns, you're leading the way if you want an assessment deadline change, if you want sort of like an amendment in the coursework, and you're taking other people on the journey with you, but you ultimately will be leading it. And three, communication. You get really used to how to communicate your changes, because obviously it's so important that once you've done the things for people in your course, you're effectively, effectively communicating them and um, telling them how you use their feedback to make their experience better. Not that it just sort of suddenly came out of nowhere. Um, so I think there are my top three skills, but it's honestly like limitless. We're doing training this year on things like assertiveness. Um, so if you struggle with that, you can also join and not worry too much about it. Um, Laura, is it one rep per year per course? No, <laughs> it completely depends on the size of your course. Um, and it is sort of like a tailored approach. So some courses, if they're larger, they do have, do have two or three, it completely depends. Um, but if you want to contact us to ask any questions, um, you can email us, get in contact with me over social media or the voice email. Um, yeah, that's my Instagram or, Instagram or Twitter. Um, you can also find my details if you don't have any of those social medias on um, the website. So send me an email with your course and um, you can see. Yeah, I think in my course, there was only one year per course, but one course rep per year. Um, but that was because mine was tiny. I think we had maybe about 15 people a year. So it's not like some of these bigger courses, for example, like accounting and finance, which has like hundreds of people join. Um, I can see, yeah, and that's the voice email as well, if you want to contact them and ask any questions too. Another question, so the course reps is pretty much like being on student council class rep, but with a greater control. This is a really interesting question. So course reps, they can feed into academic zone. Um, now we will be talking about zones later on today. Um, but so course reps make up academic zone and they're, they're the people who keep me to account and lead on our academic policies as sort of like a union, what you want the university to change more widely. Then that feeds into student council. So um, I'm sorry if that does sound confusing. I promise you it's not. <laughs> um, once you sort of like get used to the structures. Um, but but course reps do feed into student council and control what us as a union do. And at the end of the day, um, all of us, all of us executive officers, all five of us, we work for you, we work for students. So um, if there is anything that you want us to change, um, either me as academic to do with your academic experience or in any other way throughout university, um, we can help you with that. So you always have control. <laughs> it, do, it doesn't matter if you're course rep, it doesn't matter if you're um, on a society, every sin, single student has control over um, what we do as a union and what you want to push the university for. So um, is there another question? Um, oh, it's not a question, it was about food. <laughs> um, I mean, food is going to be involved in our first council, so, um, and obviously our council later on today. So if you're interested in food, pop down. Um, will I be a course rep for all my three years? You don't have to be. So when you are elected, you're elected on a year basis. 
um, but you can go for re-election. So I was caught up for my second and my third year. I didn't get involved in my first year and I really regretted not getting involved quicker. Um, so it's completely up to you. If you wanted to do it for a year, see how you find it and then decide if you want to re-elect for your second or third year, you can. And this opportunity is open to master's students or post any postgraduate student as well. It's not just for undergraduates. Um, so if you want to do your undergrad and then do your master's, um, you do have the opportunity to get elected at every single level of your study. So yeah, um, I'm just going to prod these on because these look like they're slowly melting off. Yeah. <laughs> Do I need any previous previous experience to be a course rep? No, absolutely not. Um, when I was, I did not have any experience at all. Um, I'd the only job I'd ever had before was working in like restaurants and not done a lot of voluntary opportunities either. You don't need any experience. All you need is to be willing to help, wanting to change, and um, wanting to create a better experience for yourself and everybody on your course. I think the best thing about being a course rep is you get to see those changes in motion. Um, and it's really amazing to see. I know when I was changing deadlines and things, it was incredible to be able to talk to my course mates and be like, no, it was me who did that. Um, it was me who changed that. It was me who sort of took, took the control out of my educational experience. So, um, yeah, I'd, I'd really encourage you to get involved and I'm not biased. <laughs> so um, are you going to do a taste test? If you're not, I'll pop into the office right now and do my duty. I mean, you're more than happy. Um, I've soaked it in maple syrup, um, but if you want to come in and trial a pancake, you can do. <laughs> um, yeah. So we have another question, please. Do you have any tips for course reps to gather feedback remotely? Yes. Utilize, if you do have social media, utilize your utilize your Facebook groups if you do have them, if you don't um, set them up if you'd like to. And um, you can also make yourself available as well. So make sure other people know who you are. I think that's the most, most important thing is that course reps do sometimes, or students sometimes struggle to know who their course reps actually are because they haven't met them, especially, I suppose, this year face to face. And if at the start of the lecture, if you've got any on um, Teams or um, Blackboard Collaborate, just pop on, ask your lecturer if you can have like five minutes at the start just to introduce yourself and be like, I'm the course rep, um, here are my details. If you want to talk, talk to me about anything, let me know um, and utilise it in that way. I think it is, we'd encourage usually course reps to do that at the start in their lectures anyway. So um, it is obviously a bit different, but um, you can still do a very similar thing. Um, but remember, we are here to support you as well if you did want any other ideas. And if you have any ideas of how you can engage students, let us know because it's always nice for us to tell other course reps that as well. And um, Dia says she'll be right there. Okay, see you soon. <laughs> um, so yeah, can I have another question? I would worry about my mental health whilst being a course rep. Is there any support available? Yes, 100%. And um, we don't want this to be something that is a burden on you. Um, myself and the voice team are here to alleviate some of that. If it does get too stressful, let us know, talk to us. Um, but you can also access the university support services as well. So um, you can access their mental health support team by um, booking like a spa appointment. More details on that are available on the DMU website. Um, or you can talk to our advice team as well. If there's anything academic wise um, that you want extra assistance with, um, we're always, always available to support you. We don't want this to be um, a struggle on you. We don't want it to be a burden because at the end of the day, we want this to be something that adds to your experience, not takes away from it. Um, so I wouldn't worry, just let us know, just contact us. <laughs> Um, how do I get votes? By talking to your course mates. Um, you can put calls out on social media if you want people to vote for you. Um, you talk to them individually. Um, you're just asking for other people to vote in the election. So they'll be looking also at your manifestos. You can ask your course leader to, to publicise the election, the course rep elections in general. They should be publishing that anyway. Um, that you obviously you don't have to ask them to um say vote specifically for you because obviously there may be other people running as well um but you can get votes in a variety of ways including that um i'd really like to see some creative ways this year um so if you do let us know um i'd really like to see what you get up to are any are any challenges still going to be on you know with covid and everything do, 
was was that eating challenge? I'm presuming that's eating challenges from what you're talking about before. Um, if it is eating challenges, I don't know. I'm sure somewhere in Leicester we'll be doing some form of eating challenge. <laughs> I know um, calories and stuff like that aren't currently running, I don't think. Um, but I'm sure you can find somewhere. I don't know any places in Leicester, but if you do, um, let this person know in the chat. Yeah, they just said, yeah, it, it was about eating challenges. <laughs> any more questions? What was your favourite moment when you were a course rep? This is a really specific moment, I think, but, and it's not to do with the change, and I feel it probably should be about a change, but it's not. Um, I think it was the first time I stood up in front of everybody on my course and announced myself that I was a course rep, um, because that was amazing already for my confidence, um, to be able to stand up in front of a group of people and be like, hello, yes, it, it's me. <laughs> because, and it was really nice seeing people's responses to that. I think also making the friends and the community as a course rep um, was really, really something invaluable. So um, the other course reps and I went, I was a course rep a couple of years ago, and we used to go out for days out, and um, we used to create that community within ourselves. So I think it's the loveliest community ever. <laughs> yeah. So that was my favourite moment. If we could have any more questions... These bananas do look very lovely. I love it when bananas go like a little bit green. I don't like it when they're too like ripe. <laughs> um, so I think, unless anybody in the comments, oh, I might start a society for doing eating challenges. Yes, Matt, go for it. I really, really rate that. Um, you can start a society if you don't already know with just yourself and three people, you can find information on that on our, on our page. Um, on our website, sorry, uh, that's just under get involved and then it's under societies as well. It's super easy, you can just contact our um, our activities team um, and they're super, super lovely and they'll help you in doing so. I think that you will get quite a lot of people there for eating challenges. Um, I mean, I'd like to join. <laughs> um, but thank you very much for watching today. I'm going to eat these pancakes, um, I might save a couple of deer um, before they get too cold. Um, but I've loved doing this. I've loved making pancakes with you. If there's anything I can do to help or support you, let me know. Um, my social media was on earlier, but it's DSU underscore academic there. I love it seeing it at the bottom of the page. Um, so yeah, get in contact with me, follow me, um, let me know what you think and tag us in all of our pictures. We're also in Campus Centre today give, doing a giveaway. So if you did want to pop down, come say hello. We'd love to see you. But yeah, thank you very much for joining me. Have a lovely day. Bye.